Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with a video about the two LMGs of the support class that I consider being the best and the most important for countering enemy planes. Now, there's a completely different technique depending on what weapon you're using for it. And what is also important to understand is that in order for you to be successful with this, you also need to be relatively successful using these weapons for other things than countering the plane, just normal infantry gameplay. And because of that, I'm going to cover that probably even more than the amount of uh, planes you see me shooting down. Now, the two weapons I'm talking about is first off this one, the M1917MG Telescopic, and the relatively new weapon for the support class, the Burton LMR. And yes, it's not a light machine gun, it's a light machine rifle. Don't ask me the difference, I have no idea. Now personally, the way you counter a plane makes a big difference what kind of a plane you are countering. Now, if you're trying to take out a bomber, I think that the M1917MG is by far the best. And there are similar weapons like the MG15 and a couple of other LMGs that will do the job basically as good. Not as good, but not far from it either. However, versus a small and agile fighter, especially piloted by a very experienced pilot, I think the Burton is a better choice. Chances are that you're not going to be able to maintain your aim on target long enough to deal any significant damage with weapons such as the M1917. Instead, you want to deal as much damage as possible within just a few seconds. I need some fucking Burton game uh, footage. You think I would ever get it? Just as I said it. Yes, the significant thing about the Burton LMR is that you can switch to incendiary ammo and hitting the plane with this type of ammo will disable it. Personally, I don't get many kills using the Burton LMR versus planes, so if you are the only one shooting at planes in your team, then chances are you might be quite disappointed. However, being able to deal that amount of damage in such a short period of time. That means that as long as you work together with some players, preferably in your own squad, then you'll be able to take out and counter planes very, very successfully. Why no one kills the bomber, okay? We need to kill the bomber. Now keep in mind, many times a bomber flies so high that you can't actually hit them while having the bipods deployed. But with this weapon, for the most part, it really doesn't matter. A bomber is a big and slow moving target, and landing those shots really isn't that hard. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'll take it out. All right, it's the easiest plane in the world to take out. There's no excuse if you don't... If you get farmed by a bomber, there's no excuse. It, uh, the heavy bomber. It's so easy to take it out. Now keep in mind, Battlefield 1 is, just like the other games in the franchise, a game that is based on teamwork. And many times, combining a few weapons that does basically the same thing is the best option. Yes, speaking of options, in Battlefield 1, countering planes, you have a lot of options. Even if the weapon you have in your hands at the moment isn't the best for the job, normally there is always more than 6 or 7 support players in each team, and if they would combine their firepower towards one and the same plane for, let's say, 10 seconds, basically anything would just go down. And I can assure you, that is a much better way of countering planes than to flame about it on Reddit. Now, as you see me shooting at planes here, pay attention to where I'm putting the aim. It's uh, at long range very, very unusual that I actually put the aim straight on the target. And what you see here, and in several of the other clips as well, is that I'm putting the aim slightly ahead of the target. This is called leading, and it's a quite important technique for this type of gameplay. Now remember, 
You can only counter planes or anything else for that matter for as long as you are alive. Your overall success as a support player does play its part in how good you're going to be at countering planes. And here it is very important to point out that the Burton LMR and the M1917 are two very, very different guns. Personally, I play with them completely differently and I'm hoping to showcase some of it here. Starting off with the Burton LMR using the trench version and here I'm smoking my way into uh, the bunker of a B on Monte Grappa. Now the trench version of the Burton LMR is fantastic for hip firing and this of course makes it a great close quarter combat weapon. All right, we took B, taking B like a bows, in my opinion. Let's go for the Charlie. Yeah, man, let's fucking do it. They have a tank coming to Echo. All right. Now, if you like this playstyle, then I definitely suggest you to try out the Burton LMR if you haven't already. If you get really successful with this weapon and with this playstyle, you also have the option of countering planes if the situation so requires it. For Charlie? Hell yeah. Hello, oh man! How you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Ah, what are you doing here, man? What you, nice what you... word. I have a nice wrist word here. We have a sword, I have a broken bottle. I think you trumped me, but I don't know. We're coming from left. I damaged the guy. Yep. Killed the guy. That nade. They don't like you here. Uh, we could, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a guy coming on the right side here. He's not paying attention to the minimap here. Hormone cheat, you're such a cheater. Again, I think. Yeah. Why am I always hacking? Yeah, we have to stop that now. Lots of snipers on A. Yeah. So yeah, that was a little bit of a Burton LMR gameplay. Now let's take a look at the M1917 MG. And yes, for a few minutes more here, we will be focusing on the regular infantry combat. And as I'm sure you can see, these weapons are designed for two completely different playstyles. Best time ever to have the M1917 MG. <laughs> just how many did I just kill there? So yeah, we'll continue with the same weapon, and here you see me go on a 15 kill streak. That I'm going to end with a limpet kill on a Saint Chamond. We'll get back to shooting down planes after that. Oh, 
Grenade fumigène l'entrée Des munitions pour toi Attrape tes munitions At the range, this gun is insane. It's insane. I'm not even. I'm not even bipoding now. I'm just shooting. This is insane. I mean, we are winning this match, so... How is this possible? How is it possible to go 15 and 0 and end that with killing a tank 6 minutes into the game? I wonder how long it's going to take it before I get sniped here. Now the Burton LMR is the only primary weapon that actually deals any kind of damage towards the behemoth. As a matter of fact, it deals a lot of damage, but that doesn't mean that the other LMGs are useless. That is, for as long as you know where to put your aim. Burton LMR Yeah, 
I hope this video has been interesting, maybe helpful, maybe even a little bit entertaining, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm going to leave you to it. There's going to be a few more minutes left of me using these two weapons. Some of the clips are going to be against planes, some of them are going to be just pure infantry. And yes, at the very end of the video, you'll see the requirements to unlock the Burton LMR as well. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. I'm shooting it as well, dealt 10 damage. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, heavy bomber. You can, you can damage it. Oh, oh I killed it. I thought I was gonna damage it and you kill it, but it was the other way around. Assault coming in. Whoa! <laughs> You're welcome, plane. Alright, so got one kill. I'm not sure about this. Oh, it's not going forward. All right, he's gone. I didn't get the kills, but they're gone.
<laughs> okay, I got a few. <laughs> Yes, Monichon. Uh, resupply. Burton optical. I can't get there because I have to have 50 Burton kills. Uh, perform 50 capture point defense kills. Capture point defense kills. All right, I'm at. Uh, I need 11 more. Uh, one point. Yeah, whatever. AA sight. Barrel. No, thank you. There's no skin for it. All right. Here we go. 